So what are some of the other benefits of fasting? Well, you can actually reset your microbiome. What is the microbiome? The microbiome, in essence, is the little community. I like to think of it as a mini community that resides in your gut. So think of Glasgow, right? Glasgow is a large community, in essence. And in that community, you get good guys and bad guys, right? Without judging these bad guys, without getting into the politics of it, let's just think of them as good guys and bad guys. The good guys are the people who are out there doing positive work, let's just say the police officers, the nurses, the school teachers, the firefighters, and then the bad guys could be people who are out robbing, who are uh, filling our streets with drugs, who are junkies and such, okay? So you understand. And the microbiome is filled with good guys and bad guys. Now, if you had a, a society or a community like Glasgow that had predominantly more bad guys, there would be a lot of repercussions and consequences. Now, stick with this analogy and think of positive and negative bacteria, probiotics and bad, ba and bad bacteria. Imagine your gut is filled with loads of the bad guys. Then what's going to happen? Just like in our little community, bad things are going to happen. Bad consequences and repercussions are going to come about. And those can come about manifest in a number of ways. Uh, at lesser levels, you could get a bit of a sore tummy, a bit of gas, a bit of cramp. Moving forward in the spectrum, you might start, start to generate GERD or acid reflux. Um, ulcers, ulcerate, ulcerative colitis, IBS, uh, inflammatory bowel syndrome or inflammatory bowel condition. You might start to get skin breakouts and rashes. You might have sleep issues. And then at an even more advanced level, you start to get a um, thing called leaky gut, which can cause Hashimoto's, rheumatoid arthritis, autoimmune conditions, and also cancers and, and lymphomas and all these other issues. And, and that's a, a nice analogy to understand the gut and the microbiome and really to, to, to put into your head at this current moment how you really need to focus on the gut because the gut has its own immune system and the gut sends signals to the brain, i.e. the mindset, to modulate its behaviour. And so if you're putting more of the bad guys in, i.e. the bad foods, the processed foods, the grains, the um, heavily refined carbohydrates, the sugars, the alcohol, all those sorts of things, that is going to cause more of these bad and negative and detrimental results in your gut biome and thus then in your life. So by fasting, you can give yourself, say you do a 24 hour fast, you can give yourself your stomach once and for all, finally, time to rest, digest, replenish and restore. And by doing that, you reset the balance. So the bad guys start to come back down in par. And actually, if you do, the longer you do a fast, you can diminish the bad guys and re-inoculate and build up more of the good guys and thus you can start to feel better and you can understand the power of fasting and then you can apply intermittent fasting to your life to benefit not just, benefit not just your physiological health but your mental health, i.e. your mindset which is, all, which is essentially what you guys are looking to achieve and, and once you do that, once you experience that and you start to test that, you will, believe me, it will become... Um, it will become a habit that you want to know more about, you want to learn more about, you want to pursue it because the effects are profound. So let